Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about SR latch using NAND gates. In the previous video, we have seen SR latch using NOR gates, where the two NOR gates are considered and cross connected with the outputs and the inputs. Same way, we are going to replace the NOR gates with the NAND gates, but the difference is output and input connections will be different. So first we will take NAND based SR latch NAND based SR latch so the inputs are set and reset output will be Q Q bar output will be Q and Q bar so here we have to understand one thing that when we have connected the inputs and outputs there in the previous case using NAND based SR, NOR based SR latch when S is connected S opposite we have taken Q bar Q opposite we have uh, R opposite we have taken Q in the NAND gate diagram NOR gate diagram in the NOR gate diagram but whereas in the NAND gate diagram we are not changing the positions of S and R Q and Q bar they are in the same order S opposite with the Q and R opposite with Q bar okay because there is a change there as the gates are changing there definitely there will be change in the output uh, functions also so take two NAND gates NAND is nothing but AND followed by bubble so this is S and this is R reset pin here we have second input of the NAND gate is nothing but output of the second NAND gate and similarly second input of the second NAND gate is the output of first NAND gate this is Q and this is Q bar this difference we have to observe when we go for NOR to NAND okay when we were connecting NOR gate, the opposite of S yes is connected. That means wherever we are connecting the S, yes, that NOR gate output is connected to Q bar. R is connected to Q. Okay, in the NAND of in the NOR circuit. But whereas in the NAND realization, in the NAND realization, the inputs and outputs are in the same order. Yes, or Q Q bar. Okay, there is no change. This difference you have to observe. If you do not observe this, definitely you will be having a mistake in the output. So now we will see the tools table of this one. Q, Q bar. Otherwise, we will write that statement here for better understanding. So we will write here. Note in NOR based. In NOR based SR latch, in NOR based SR latch, S is having an opposite the output of S gate. Nothing but wherever we are connecting the S input, that particular NOR output is Q bar. And R applied to a NOR gate, that output is Q. NOR gate output. NOR gate output. Hope you understand. Okay. If you have any doubt, you can go to the diagram. So this is yes. This is R. This is Q bar and this is Q. Okay. But whereas in the NAND, there is no such deviation now let us see 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 see when both inputs are zeros when both inputs are zeros the outputs q q bar both are zeros or both are ones nothing but it is an invalid state it is a invalid state as it is an invalid state, 0, 0 state is not considered in the NAND operation. 
so when two sr gates sr flip flop or latch is made up of nand gates then this particular zero zero operation is not at all considered but whereas in the case of nor gate realization one one operation is not considered you might have remembered when we discussed in the previous video okay and the remaining operations is not zero 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 one zero one is nothing but when s is equal to zero r equal to one r reset operation is performed here reset operation is performed here so reset reset operation has to be performed when in the case of uh, uh, nor gate but here setting operation is performed here everything will be in the opposite format everything is in the opposite format so set operation is performed here set operation is performed here so that's why q is equal to 1 and q bar equal to 0 is the set operation and s is equal to 1 r equal to 0 so as r equal to 0 reset operation is performed here so output is equal to 0 and q bar equal to 1 it is a reset operation a reset operation when both are ones when both are ones then it is having the previous state either 0 1 or 1 0 depends upon the type of the previous state this period is nothing but holding period or previous state okay so i will write clearly hope you understand in the nor operation in the nor operation the outputs are changing q bar q and there is one difference another difference is for one one operation in the nor gates for one one operation it is the invalid state but whereas in the case of nor gate the complete set is opposite and everything will be acting like a bubbled operation i will i will draw first i will draw the nand transistor level diagram later i will show the detailed uh, difference transistor level diagram so we know nand is having two pmos transistors in parallel and two nmos transistor in series so take two pmos transistors So these two are connected these two are connected so this is s first output s connected to q this is vdd and take in the similar way take another uh, nand gate one transistor this side another transistor this side for our convenience here this is r r is connected with the output q bar so this output is connected to the input here and this output is connected as the input for this vdd okay so this is the nand gate first one where with the input s and the output Q and this is the NAND gate second one with input R and output Q bar. Okay, so we know very well uh, NMOS transistor on on for input is equal to one and similarly PMOS transistor is off and NMOS transistor is off. PMOS transistor is on when input is equal to 0. Okay, with this we can analyze this circuit. Okay, another difference I want to show you between difference between NAND based SR latch and NOR based SR latch okay very very important just i want to clear your doubt okay what is the difference between nand based and off based ssr latches 
एस और नैंड आउटपुट्स नॉर आउटपुट्स ओके क्यू क्यू बार क्यू क्यू बार जीरो 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 वन वन जीरो वन वन सो वेन बोथ आर जीरो वेन बोथ आर जीरो पर्टिकुलर स्टेट इज इनवैलिड इन द केस ऑफ लैंड ऑपरेशन इन द केस ऑफ लैंड ऑपरेशन सो हियर इट इज इन वैलिड आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू कंप्लीट एलॉबरेट जीरो 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 वन वन विल विदउट पुट एक्चुअली इन दिस केस but whereas in this particular case it is previous state previous state or you can say it is nothing but hold state 0 1 01 nand operation actually yes r is taking one reset operation has to be performed but as nand operation is an opposite one uh, inverter logic it is having set operation so set is nothing but set is nothing but s is equal, uh, q is equal to 1 and uh, q bar is equal to 0 but whereas in the nor gate it is 0 and it is 1 because reset operation performed reset reset is nothing but output equal to 0 and s is equal to 1 r equal to 0 in the nand operation reset operation is performed so output is equal to 0 and it is 1 and here it is set operation is performed so 1 0 when 1 1 is the case for NOR operation, it is simply invalid. It is simply invalid state. Nothing but both outputs may be either 0 or 1s. It is invalid or not allowed or indeterminate state. Okay, we can call like any 1 1. 1 1 is nothing but in NAND gate simply holding our previous state. Previous state, whatever Q has, the same will be the output hold okay hope you understand how these two are working okay suppose in in NAND based SLH if you are asked about transient analysis then again you need to consider one uh, uh, lump parameter capacitance at the output output is nothing but this line only so you need to add one capacitance at the output which is nothing but lumped capacitance this capacitance will be having all the internal capacitances whatever we have discussed individually between the transistor terminals so all these capacitors will be connected at the output and we can call it as a lumped capacitance this lumped capacitance you can also further treat it, treat it as a load capacitance the this capacitance will be multiplied with the internal transistor resistance to provide the rise time and as well as fall time okay so that we can calculate the transient analysis okay hope it is clear thank you